स्थापकाय च धर्मस्य सर्वधर्मस्वरूपिणे अवतार वरिष्ठाय राम कृष्णाय ते नम Ram looked after their physical needs. Ram was a householder, disciple of Sri Ram Krishna, Ramachandra Datta. Rakha now and then spent a few days at others' house, another householder, disciple. Now and then he would come and go and stay. In those days, uh, he very house welcomed anybody coming. With great love and concern, they would keep anybody in their house, especially the youngsters, because school, college going in 1800s, imagine, even when we were children, we had to walk miles together, uh, without, with, no vehicles were there, uh, we used to walk all the way to school and come back. So, almost all people and my father had to live some in some other village in somebody's unknown person's house to finish his um, education. And years they have to stay in somebody's house and then do all the works of the household. A postmaster in Bhatkar was keeping my father and other children in 19, almost early of 1900, maybe 1920 or something like that, much before the independence. And who took no type of transport is available. Though ships, boats and all were there, the roads were not there, internal. Here in long distances, trains were there, railway line was put. Britishers has, had made lot of arrangements and perfect survey of whole India. And roads were yet to come. Like modern times, we did not have the earth movers. Everything has to be manual, and using animals. Hand, with hand they have to dig the earth and make the road. Even in our childhood days, thousands of people, most of the people were, main uh, labor work was this of physical manual work. So, the, these people used to go and stay in somebody's house. And those people would treat them as their own children, never differentiate, even a little. Same concern, same love, same care, same advices, same food. Um, and that, that is how these people grew up. Rakha now and then spent a few days in other's house, Ram, to the master. We have been taking lessons on the drum. Ram to the master. We have been taking lessons. That is Tabla. Master to Ram. Jiti Gopal to Ram. No, sir. He plays a little master. And Tarak, Ram, he knows a good deal, master. Then he won't keep his eyes on the ground so much. If the mind is much directed to something else, it does not dwell deeply on God. 
then he won't keep his eyes on the ground so much. If his mind is directed to something else, it does not dwell deeply on God. Ram, I have been studying the drum only to accompany the kirtan to ma master to him. I hear that you two are taking singing lessons. Is that not so, master? No, sir. I am just open. I just open my mouth now and then. Master, have you practiced that song, O oh Mother, Make Me Mad With Thy Love? If you have, please sing it. The song expresses my ideal perfectly. Mother, make me mad with thy love. You see how Sri Ramakrishna is converting and the all things have to be attended, all things are to be known, but it must be exclusively for the welfare of society, welfare of others, and for service of the Lord. Uh, we, um, when I had jo newly joined Mert, I was in Bangalore Ashrama. Those were the almost days of glory. Pushat Mananji was there, who is a not like modern scholarly scholars, but knew the tattvas of life. Later, after our going and meeting, he started speaking in English. He did not know, but he could little by little understand, and then he picked up the language. But regarding life, its principles, and all, when he sings in the prayer, everybody is to be charmed. Most of the devotees who shed tears of joy and longing. Mm. When he take a, takes, he used to take classes, at least 800 to 1000 people would join every week on Saturdays. Mm. And this is the glorious time, and we were charmed first by the music and singing. And secondly, our Ramakrishna tradition demands it. The meeting of Vekananda and Sri Ramakrishna took place through music. Master was to go there, Sri Ramakrishna was to go to a particular place. The appointed singer was not available and Narin has to, had to go. And the meeting of the East and West as if and the ordinary people and the spiritual enlightened souls, how they meet is through this. And singing is a thing which all enjoy from a child to old man from an illiterate to the highly educated, of all ages, of all times, even God's relish. And this one media through which we can expand our existence, reach everyone and meet together. It is a uniting force Sri Ramakrishna uses, but Sri Ramakrishna was afraid also that it should not divert the attention exclusively like Lato Maharaj doing his exercise in the shrine in front of God. For your sake I have kept this body. I am taking care of it. Look here. See that my body consciousness doesn't come out. Similarly, singing when we learn music, our elders used to say, remember, offer this every day to God. See that desire for name and fame, for people's 
acceptance and observe, observation doesn't enter your brain. Hmm. It's a sacrifice. It's a worship. It is something giving. And finally, it's a pushpanjali to the Bharatiya Samskriti. From ancient times, Vedic times, we see the music coming up as Samagana. Still earlier, uh, during the Stone Age, we see music has developed and no language has yet come. Those days were there when music was already sung, imitating the birds and other animals. But there was no language yet. So that is the glory of music and singing. But Sri Ramakrishna wants it to offer it to God. He is asking, do you know that you have started learning? Uh, no, I am not going for that. I am going for only for tabla classes. Uh, you are singing, you have joined singing classes. No, I never went there, just open my mouth. Then have you learned this song? How God pleads, you see. It is an offering to the Lord. Hmm. God himself is asking, can you sing that song? Have you practiced that song? Oh mother, make me mad with thy love. If you have, please sing it. The song exp expresses my ideal perfectly. To remain absorbed in God. To be mad with God. The conversation turned to Hazra's hatred for certain people which Sri Ramakrishna did not like. Masters. I used frequently. I used frequently to visit a certain house at Kamarpukur. The boys of the family were of my age. The other day, very they came here and spent two or three days with me. Their mother, like Hazra, used to hate people. Then something happened to her foot and gangrene set in. On account of the foul smell, no one could enter her room. I told the incident to Hazra and asked him not to hate anyone. Consequences of karma. Each has to, uh, how, whatever we do, see, I hate I don't want people to come near me. And nature gives a thing. People cannot come to her. She is stinking with bad smell. They, nobody wants to enter her room in which she is staying. Hmm. Um, the elders used to tell, if you, the hands are given to serve others, when you have been given a human body to serve and do worship and things, serve others, earn your own living, it has been given. If you don't use it in the next life, you will have no hands at all. All the four legs mm, with a tail and two horns. So the purpose when you are not using, even scientifically, if you are not using a particular organ, then it slowly disappears. Mm. So it ceases to exist. Now, most of the people are accustomed to move on scooters. They have no habit of walking at all. Close by, close by, next, uh, next to the house, a shop is there, they don't go on foot. They take their vehicle and go, scooter. Now, if the legs are not used, it slowly enters into 
unused part. Slowly, the again the shrinks back, and like penguin, we will be moving about. How the um, nature works, you see. Unused, it withdraws. Used, it exercises. Fine exercises to keep up the body active, running about and doing work. Mm. Full of energy, full of energy. The more you do, more will be the strength, more will be the active, activeness. You don't do little whatever is necessary, go on doing. It goes on becoming dull and inactive mm, because of disuse atrophy. We saw it, they call it in medical sense disuse atrophy. Mm, because of lack of use, it is we are losing certain things. Now, ears has a particular shape to receive the sounds. If we go on using earplugs and hear from the nearby, the whole thing within a few thousand years, you will see that there is only one hole in the skull to receive the sound. These ears fall off. So, this is hmm, disuse atrophy in which we are going to lose. So, here we see Sri Ramakrishna. Uh, how the nature works, mm. use it, it will be there with you and flourishing. Don't use it, it enters into atrophy and then disappears. Towards evening, as Sri Ramakrishna was standing in the northwest corner of the courtyard, he went into Samadhi. Towards the evening, Sri Ra as Sri Ramakrishna was standing in the northwest corner of the courtyard. Courtyard is within the temple premises, in front of the Kali temple premises and around. Hmm. Um, Ganga is to towards the west. Hmm. Ganga is flowing southward. Hmm. North is Nahabad. Uh, west is Ganga. So, west the corner standing. So, northwest hmm. means towards the river west and towards the Nahabhat and uh, Panchavati, that corner, Sri Ramakrishna. Of the courtyard, it is almost next to him, within the courtyard means inner portion and very close to his room. He has just come out as if he entered into the courtyard from his room. Courtyard, he went into Samadhi. In those days, the master remained almost always in ecstatic state. He would lose consciousness of the world at the slightest suggestion from outside. But for scant conversation with visitors and devotees, but for scant conversation with the visitors and devotees, he remained in an indrawn mood and was unable to perform his daily worship and de devotions. Hmm. He would remain in ecstatic state like the tamasic people remain in Tiprim Tamas. So, he is to be awake to the divine. Now, you see the difference. Hmm. And do we, by chance or by our own efforts, or by any means, will we be able to experience once at least that state of forgetting the world and everything 
in state of bhava samadhi or samadhi. Uh, slightest suggestion would make him recoil from this world and enter the spiritual realm. I am unaware of the, my body, and I am unaware of this world. My body is standing or sitting or lying down. He doesn't, windows, he doesn't know. Hmm. If someone doesn't support, it falls off. Unable to perform. Coming down to the relative world, he began, began to talk to Divine Mother. Hmm. Stay, still standing where he was. He entered into Samadhi and he has already coming down from the Samadhi Stiti and while coming down, he is still talking to Mother, Divine Mother. Oh Mother, he said, worship has left me and Japa also. As we go ahead, one by one fall off. A day comes when you can no more Sri Ramakrishna says, still the karma falls off by itself. Don't leave the karma. Mm. Go on doing. Uh, you are not entered into spiritual realms by which you can no more do the... You have not entered into ecstatic state of love. Mm. And from where you are unable to do, you are in a such a state that you are not able to do. Work has fallen off. Mm. That work, otherwise be extremely active, immediately reacting to the things outside. Anybody wants anything, he is there, intensely active. Someone comes, rush to receive. I saw in many places especially in Bengal, anybody comes, the way in which the house people run and bring them, make them sit, uh, they rush as if to receive. And not slowly people and see who has come. Should I go or not? No. Immediately, like army, they are awake to the situations. So, they, that, that kind of, it begins from there, till and this one day activities will follow. All activities, they are in ecstatic state of divine love. The whole thing is filled with divine love, dipped in consciousness of divine. Coming down, he began to speak. He said, worship has left me, japa also. Please see, mother, I do not become inert thing. Because when work decreases, activity decreases, the slowly the tendency is to enter into tamas. Uh, standing, sleeping, moving about, drowsing, this will continue we become inert, finally we become like stone. Hmm. People we see sitting in front of television like stones. Like that, we become inert. I am active. Jiva is active. I am becoming inert. Don't make me inert. Mother, worship has left me. Japa also has left me. Please see, Mother, I do not become an inert thing. Let my attitude towards God be that of a servant towards the Master. Servant, he takes all responsibilities to take care and serve. Hmm. A servant is vigil, vigil, vigil at all times, is vigil, because he has to take care of master, like mother. Uh, he is afraid to sleep because she will not be able to see 
what is happening to the child. Half sleep, little, little she takes rest and sees what is happening to my child. Especially after new birth, for a few days, for few weeks, for few, few months, if the child is extremely weak and less grown, how much anxious will be, but how much attentive, like the servant attitude, like Hanuman, he is ever awake to the master's needs. So that awakening is what counts. My attitudes, God, be that of servant towards master, means doing everything for master's sake and vigil. 24 hours is vigil for to see the needs of the master. O oh mother, let me talk about thee. Chant thy holy name. I want to sing thy glories. Give me a little strength of the body that I may move about, that I may go to places where the devotees live and sing their name. Ramakrishna longed to go to devotees to speak and hear about Mother, about God. Though he remains immersed in the divine awareness, he moves from door to door to give the message of God and to rouse their spiritual consciousness. Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tat Sat Shri Ramakrishna Arpanamastu